my goodness welcome to my channel how gorgeous of a morning was that welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Brooke and this is a week in my life however it has nothing to do with work something I really struggle with is not really having a life outside of work and especially since I've been editing week in my life videos I'm like dang all I do is work come home and eat I eat nothing good to be more specific and then I watch TV and I go to bed no more and yesterday and today I got a lot of movement in. I went to a coffee shop and yeah, this video is pretty much gonna be everything that I do this week that isn't work. I might show my work outfits just because that's like one of my favorite parts about my job is the outfits that I get to wear. But aside from that, you're pretty much gonna see everything in my life but work. I'm a little nervous to see how my body reacts to getting so jostled around in the morning before work because I'm not usually a morning workout person. I'm like a midday to evening workout person just because my body aches a lot, especially with having fibro syndrome. But movement is really important in order to keep my figure so that with this genetic condition, it's just really, 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 really hard on my body to be gaining weight. I'm tired of being in pain all the time and I need more movement and so that's what we did. But I'm about to shower, get ready for work. And then tonight we work until seven. I work with my husband, if you didn't know that. We work at a college together. He works in financial aid and I'm an admissions advisor. And we get home at 7 p.m. on Mondays. So I will see you when I get home. And full disclosure, Mondays are always pizza night. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Fun fact, I actually made this mug. Um, one thing about me, I would give anything to be a creative person. I love people who can sell like graphics on Etsy and who can make really cute mugs. This looks cute from afar if you close your eyes a little bit, but up close it is, it is far from perfect up close. And I love going and like painting stuff, but I hate going as well because I don't like seeing the finished products and then not being happy with it and then not wanting it anymore. Or the second I mess up, I'm like, I'm done. I don't, I'm mad. I just want to be a naturally creative person. It is 6.23 now, and I really need to be getting in the shower no later than seven. And it took a while for me to get up. Like, honestly, I wanted to sit on the couch because I woke up at 5.10. I also forgot to set my alarm. I don't know what was wrong with me last night, but I completely forgot to set my alarm. Luckily, I woke up 10 minutes after it would have went off anyway, so it's fine. That is very, very, very unlike me. So I woke up this morning, had some coffee, had some medicine. My stomach was hurting really, really bad. I think it's because I had pizza last night. Anytime I have red sauce, it's not great. I have really bad acid reflux and I think just tomato foods don't agree with me. Which sucks because I love pizza. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? 66 degrees with a 60% chance of rain. I already have my outfits picked out for the whole week, so I need to go make sure that Tuesday didn't involve a dress and like Thursday involves pants because if it because I'm not wearing a dress in the rain. That is one thing I try really, really hard not to do is dress up when it's raining. I love to match the weather, even though I'm indoors 100% of the time. But I'm gonna go to work today and then we get off and have dinner. I might be having a house guest for a little while, but I don't wanna speak on that quite yet. But for now, I'm going to sit here, enjoy my coffee for the next, 30 minutes and then I want to go ahead and make my lunch before my shower so we'll do that. I'm making a sandwich. My husband and I have a really bad habit of going to Kroger every morning before work so that we can get our lunch for the day and it's usually like a 30 to 40 dollar visit every morning and that is insane. So we said no more of that especially with our vacation coming up in less than a month so we're determined to use our groceries for lunch. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good Tuesday.
you are barely balancing and please excuse the background of my basement this is just where i'm doing my makeup right now because i'm painting my office and that's where i have my like makeup area and with easter and everything and just having plans last weekend we have not done much painting or progress also my hair is feeling really really soft all i did was blow dry it this is from wet to blow dried i feel like i don't even have to straighten it but i turned the camera on because i had oh i was like i had a question to ask and then i forgot it does anyone else lay their makeup out like the products that they're going to be using that day before they start their makeup or do you sit down and then grab the products as you're going to use them because i have to have the things that i'm going to use today laid out in front of me or else i get decision fatigue like let me show you oh my gosh please excuse my dirty dirty mirror but these are the products that i'm going to be using today and yeah i definitely had to lay them out before i could start i am home from work i was just so over today that i asked joe if we could just not even cook dinner and we stopped at mcdonald's on the way home and now i am cutting up some strawberries because a while ago my stepmom came over and she gave us like a fondue set and i really want some chocolate and fruit so that's what we're doing i actually have it right next to me this is how we are spending our evening. I've got the strawberries. Oh my god, they're looking actually delicious. This is one of the sticks. <clears throat> now I have the blueberries. Always, always, always rinse your fruit. Mm, delicious blueberries. I knew that was gonna happen. I stepped on one of the blueberries that I gave the dog. Gosh, my throat is so itchy. There we have it. These are the chocolate chips that I'm melting right now. Let's go check on that. This is the setup. It turned out quite nicely, don't you think? Very. Very. Uh, you're so cute. You cut the strawberries up beautifully. And the blueberries are plump. Zoom into these bad boys. Strawberries. Trunk went into a little longer, you're right. I did take a PTO day. I am just having a bit of an emotional day. Some life changes are happening. I might speak on that. Not in today's video. It's not really my my stuff to speak on, but it does affect me. So just kind of regulating my emotions with that today. If you can hear my Alexa, so sorry. Um, but I put on a matching set because when I put on a matching set, that always makes me feel better. I'm wearing like black leggings and then a black t-shirt bra. You probably got not a good idea of that at all. Sorry, I'm terrible at showing things sometimes. I'll show you a little bit later. But I put on a matching set and that always makes me feel a little bit more put together. And then I did a very, very, very no makeup makeup look which is mascara, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of hourglass powder and like a glow filter thing from Imco Beauty. Anyway, I'm very, very slowly sipping on this Celsius. This is probably the last thing that I need because on like self-care days, caffeine is usually not a good idea. However, I really, really want to be productive today. Like I think if I didn't have this Celsius, I was going to sit and scroll on my phone for way too long and that is not okay. 
But yeah, I was not expecting to take a mental health day like right in the middle of the week. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what that looks like for me, but also it is a mental health day. So I kind of just wanna be no screens, read, go for a walk. Might clean my house a little bit today as well. But I definitely wanna show you what I'm treating myself to for lunch. But yeah, today is much needed. It is completely raining and disgusting outside. Although I did put on a matching set and I do have the energy to go for a walk, I don't have the patience to get rained on, to be quite honest. I really wanted to walk to a coffee shop and just sit there and read and relax, honestly. But like I said, I don't wanna get rained on. So we're making lunch now. I have three big scallops that are just thawing a little bit right there. And then I also got these crab cakes from Aldi. Phenomenal. These are also from Aldi, these jumbo scallops. And then I'm gonna use just some oil. I got this from Amazon. And then onion and garlic powder for the scallops. Clearly, I love seafood. Yum. I don't know how to cook scallops, so we're going to see. I used to work at McDonald's. I used to work at eight different franchise McDonald's. And uh, I still have the meat thermometer of when I did food safety. But let's see if it works. Oh, it works. The scallops have not hit temp yet, so we'll wait. Here are the crab cakes. Alexa, set a five minute timer. 145 is what we need. Okay. All right. We're good. They hit 150. I'm going to temp all of them though, just to be sure. Let's temp it to make sure. Okay. That one is good. All right, we're good. I really want to use this cute mayo, but I have a really bad habit of having bad expired stuff, and it expired in September of 2023. That's disgusting. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? You have one minute and ten seconds left on your five-minute timer. Cool. I think I have a good sauce. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a good sauce to eat with the scallops because the one that I was gonna make requires the expired mayo. Butter? <gasps> the crab cakes are done. All right, we have three scallops and a crab cake and I'm very eager to see how the scallops are because i've never made scallops before in my life i don't think kind of scared but i temperature checked them all right wait a minute fire fire i wish i had some pasta i did really good like actually i need a haircut look how hot Look how hot the um, crab cake is. Mm. Very good as well. Bone apple teeth, this is a good lunch. A good mental health lunch. Oh my goodness, I feel like my eyes are bleeding. I pretty much spent my entire PTO day off editing. Um, I just finished a trailer that I'm working on for my new video. I actually put effort into this video, you guys. I'm very excited about it, but dang, my eyes are bleeding, the fact that I've been looking at my computer for so long. But I'm also watching a vlog from Claudia Walsh. 
I'm just ready for Joe to get home. He should be leaving work in a couple of minutes and then he's gonna come and get me and then we're gonna go to dinner and I'm really excited because see, this is what I'm talking about. Like obviously I didn't go to work today, but oh, my battery is gonna die. And just like that, it is Saturday. That was not the best weekly vlog. But the whole point of me filming this week was to really try to do things outside of work, to not make life so much about work. And that's exactly what this week was. So no complaints here. I did take my mental health day on Wednesday, but a lot of personal things happened this week that definitely took my mind off of work and it also made me not film that much. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do wanna film like a weekend in my life video that I'm gonna start right after I end this one. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm excited to continue the streak of working to live and not living to work. Love ya.